Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to get my view out there on the Kony 2012 thing that's hitting the interwebs right now. And I'm also linking to a Young Turks video on the topic. Uh, Green Ghost uh, 2008 made a video where he links to a reference that I uh, put down below. Um, now, when I first saw this whole Kony thing going on on the interwebs um, in comment sections, I guess my first reaction was to be a bit skeptical because of this this whole thing people with these slogans i just have this kind of issue with um but you know people said go and check it out so i checked it out there's a half hour video which i'll link to down below and basically it's about coney this terrible guy who's the leader of the lord's resistance army which is a Christian militia that's operating in uh, Uganda and the Congo and the kind of neighboring countries and is basically responsible for a lot of death and suffering and child soldiers and so the aim of this video as I remember from having watched it the one time and sorry if I'm not getting the details right just let me know but the aim was to so the US has military advisors in Uganda training the military to catch this guy and the aim of the video is to pressure people into making sure that the military advisors stay so that the Ugandan military can catch this guy. Now, I don't know that much about the people, actually I don't know anything about the people that made this video. So I'll, I'll grant them and that are behind this uh, organization, uh, Invisible Children. So I'll, I'll just say, you know, um, for the record, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and uh, say that, you know, their intentions are good. So, and certainly the world would be better off without this guy, Kony. Kony? I think so. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, there's a couple of things that seem a bit off to me, which is, the first is that, according to the video, as I remember, the advisors are there, and the video is all about, like, keeping the advisors there, because they might get withdrawn if the US doesn't see that there's a purpose for them. Um, I, I don't see that really happening necessarily. Uh, I, it, the advisors aren't very expensive, I'm sure. Just training the military to find this guy isn't really going to be that big of a cost. Um, the second thing is, um, whilst I don't think the video called for it, uh, there seems to be the Young Turks video mentioned this that this Invisible Children uh, charity uh, kind of has this strong support for the Ugandan military, which is itself implicated in various human rights abuses, apparently. Um, so, if this movement led to um, to the Ugandan military being armed further and they used any of those arms to do harm to anyone that obviously would be on the nations doing the arming. Um, and then the final point on that vein is uh, that apparently this guy has left, well he's active in a couple of country, this countries this army is and these countries don't really have well controlled borders. So he's probably in the Congo right now or somewhere else. So even if the Ugandan army was well equipped and trained, they still couldn't get him if he was somewhere else. So there's this kind of doubt about even if they have all of this training, that they could catch the guy. It would kind of take this concerted effort. And if you know anything about the Congo, you know that there's not going to be any concerted effort in the Congo, for example. So putting a lot of chips into the basket of catching this one guy uh, may be difficult to achieve. Um, at the same time, whilst he's responsible for this enormous amount of suffering, he's one of many people in the region that are part of that. And there's no real guarantee that if he was eliminated or captured, that that would stop the Lord's Resistance Army. Or even if that broke apart, what about what about the soldiers in that army? Would they just go home and tend the fields? Maybe not. Maybe they would just join one of the countless other groups that are causing mischief in the region. Um, and that's not to say that I don't support in general kind of putting pressure on the government to kind of take this issue seriously and see what can be done about it. But 
the video is to me watching it mostly a propaganda piece um, it doesn't necessarily convey that much information um, it mainly just tells you you know this is a huge issue and you should lobby everyone and then it ends with this uh, bit of kind of guerrilla style people wearing like facial coverings and putting up posters and being all rebellious and cool um, and I don't know it I have a problem with the fact that it doesn't really put across that much information and it doesn't really go into all of these other issues and it's just looking for the support for this campaign without seeming to want to inform um, much beyond what the video provides which isn't that much and all of the complicated issues around it um, and so granting that this is you know may well I think in general it's a good cause um, I don't know if this particular charity and the people in it are the best placed to have a really informed understanding of the situation I just I honestly don't know I'm not well informed enough myself but apparently some people have their doubts about that strategy um, but you know ultimately I, I just this this and this this you know there was the Ron Paul 2012 now it's Coney 2012 I I have what I have a broader issue with is this new style of activism which I like awareness raising I just had a video response to um, to Meridian Frost that I do like movements that raise awareness even if the movement itself um, may not have all that much direction but it needs to go somewhere and it needs to be for the purpose of then informing people further or getting them on that path and I'm not sure that's what this does because if you watch the video it's just encouraging you to have this day and put up posters and get in touch with other people and share the content of that video it's and that's all it seems very clicky and kind of like like more of a movement for the sake of it rather than really getting people active and interested and informed and I I have a worry about that becoming the standard for activism that it's all just all just a matter of putting you know oh there's an issue oh I, I won't inform myself about it I'll just spam a couple of my friends with blah 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 2012 and then that'll be that without informing myself first or for informing myself further later on um, which is obviously a danger because people that aren't informed aren't gonna make good decisions the topic won't be properly discussed and then if the whole thing does turn out not to be that simple and th does turn out not to work out people are gonna get disillusioned and those are my issues with this whole new concept um, and you know I as I said you know um, if things work out and it produces a positive outcome that's great but I don't think it's a good model in itself moving forward uh, I would much rather see awareness raising with a lot more emphasis than put on um, actual kind of dialogue and discussion um, rather than this what seems to be one-sided kind of here's your information I'll spread it to other people um, approach that this seems to take and the last thing I want to say on this is I do appreciate the awareness raising aspect of it but there's one important thing that awareness needs to be raised of everyone can agree that we should kill Coney um, maybe not kill I would prefer he was you know captured and put on in trial but he needs to be he's a bad person who causes suffering um, because that's you know uncontroversial bad person punish them in the video I think they say like he he's uh, responsible for the death of 25 to 30 thousand children that's how many children die every day of preventable causes and that topic is a lot harder to address because it doesn't involve killing people it involves the global injustice and inequity and the solution to that involves putting more money into places that really need it which means having slightly less ourselves and those are much harder topics and much less popular topics um, and, but much you know they're the real meat of the issue they're three 
uh, 30,000 kids a day, 11 million kids a year. And whilst that doesn't really, that doesn't make this issue any less important, if we can stop this guy and stop this suffering, it's great. Um, I think that if you're interested in this movement, then that is all the more reason to inform yourself about the other larger overhanging issues.